Hello guys, please excuse how funny my hair looks. This is just how I get my hair out of my face before I'm about to do my makeup. This company called In Stylish reached out to me and asked if I want to review their makeup sponges. So they call them their multifunctional makeup sponge. The brand's called In Stylish. I don't know if I said that already. I'm a fish, a goldfish. My memory sucks. So they say to clean the sponges with water before the first use. After moisturizing, squeeze water out with palm to avoid nail scratching. Pull, twisting, and fracture. Number two, please wash the product by professional cleaner and it should be kept in cool and ventilated environments to, av to avoid mildewing and prevent it from insulation. Number three, please replace the product regularly according to your times of use. It is supposed to be replaced over 15 to 30 days. And I've actually been pretty good with like my own beauty blenders to replace them because they do get quite disgusting and they do carry quite a lot of bacteria. Um, so I'm excited to try these ones out because this one's probably due to be thrown out. I actually just wet it and I was like, hang on, I could actually try all these out because I'm about to do my makeup. I actually got asked to go into work today. I normally have today off. It's a Sunday, um, but I'm only doing 12 to till four and I'm just going into clean that's what I'm doing today and this is what they look like here I'll just take them out of the packaging they are super soft like already the ones I buy from Kmart are not soft to begin with they are like rock hard but these ones are already quite soft I don't know which one I'm gonna use today are they both like the same no they're not <laughs> this one has like a really flat part there and it's really pointy here and then this one as you can see here has like a flat part here and a flat part on this side and then it's just like a regular egg shape. I do have a code for these. I'm pretty sure it's 10% off if you use Bianca, the code Bianca. Let me just get the email up. So the discount code that you can use is Bianca. I'll put it up on the screen. It's just my name for 10% off. The website is instylish.com. The Instagram is instylish underscore official. I'll leave all their links and everything down below. And yeah, I'm just gonna go wet these now and squeeze it out like it said. Which one am I going to use? I might use this one. This one might be a bit more beneficial for me today. I'm gonna chuck the other one back in. And I'll be back. Okay, I just wet the beauty blender. Guys, <laughs> this expanded so much. I'll show you the other one compared. Look how much that expanded. Crazy. It's actually super duper soft now. Um, I squeeze most of the water out. I just leave it a little bit damp. I don't like it too like wet, if that makes sense. My tan is disgusting. Look at my arm right now. My wrist isn't even the same color as my forearm. I have to scrub this off soon and my neck is so gross. Now for the exciting part, I'm going to use this sponge with my normal foundation. I use this every day. And then we're going to, I'm actually going to use the bum of it. I'm going to use the other parts. Maybe I'll use this part a little bit, but I'm going to use this part for like the concealer under my eyes. You'll see anyway, but I'm just going to take that and start blending it. Guys, this is so much softer than my Kmart one. It's ridiculous. But the Kmart one's $3 and you can definitely tell. I feel like this has taken quite a bit of product into the sponge. But I feel like every kind of like first use of a beauty blender is kind of like that. I find the same thing with the Kmart one that I use. doing a bad job I actually was kind of scared to try these out because I'm actually going somewhere and I don't want my makeup to look bad but this isn't too bad ah this is where I'm gonna kind of use the pointy end just to get in to like around my eye just so everywhere is definitely covered. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just under my eyes. Cover up my bags. <laughs> so I'm using the tiny end now compared to this side.
Okay, that is my liquid base done. I'm just gonna move on to the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna put on Grey's Anatomy. Okay, my makeup is now done. I am really impressed with how much my base just like stayed kind of perfect and nothing ended up looking like gross and cakey or muddy or anything like that. I am really, really impressed. I have to straighten these bits of hair because whenever I go in the shower and they get like the slightest bit wet, I get like like little sideburn ringlets. It's so ugly. Um, so I'll have to do that. Look how much of a difference there is to my hand and my face because obviously I'm not tanned on my body. I actually have to get going, so I will probably check in a little bit later. I just want to say thank you so much to InStylish for working with me. Love your beauty sponges. I'll probably end up testing this one out another time, but I'm sure it's as perfect as this one. Please go check them out if you want to. Um, I'll leave all the links down below, like I said before. Use Bianca for 10% off, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Good morning. Today is now Tuesday. I obviously never checked back on Sunday. I just went to work and did what I have to do, what I had to do, and then left, and then went back yesterday and worked a full day. Today is a day full of errands, um, last minute stuff. Really, I'm going to get a blood test at the doctor's this morning at 10 o'clock. It's currently quarter past eight. I'm also going to go get my nails done. This is what they look like currently. They're not like too grown out or anything, but I mean, I'm kind of bored. Oh my God, yuck. Do I have something sticky? Why is that all stuck on there? Anyway, I'm gonna get ready quickly and then I will check back in. Okay, as you can probably tell, I am ready now. I am going to leave pretty soon. I just have to go brush my teeth, put on some shoes, and skedaddle. So I will probably just check in when I get back. I'm going to just finish getting ready and then leave, and then I will see you guys later. Bye. Hello. Hello. I'm back from the shops and the doctors. I am starving. I think I'm like, I'm feeling a bit sick because I'm so hungry because I couldn't eat before I got my blood test. And I got my blood test and it hurts so bad. But anyway, oh, my legs hurt. Anyway, I got, can this sit like that? Okay, let's see how long that lasts. I got my nails done. So I'm gonna haul you what I got. A couple things that are presents though and I don't know if they'll watch this video it's my parents it's no one like dramatic um <laughs> but I still don't know if they'll watch so I'll kind of like skip over them um first up went to Priceline got nasal spray my secret Santa present in case they watch this which they won't I know they won't I got myself a pink butter icing candle because it smells insane and then I got a vanilla bean one as well because it smells so good. I also got from the body shop a warm vanilla shower gel. I got two things from Glassens. I got this midi skirt. Duh. This is actually a little bit too big but they didn't have the size below. So that's what it looks like there. I have a similar color to this but it doesn't have the cute little flowers on it. And it was in the sales section, so I got that and it's really cute. This was also a weird fit but I got it because I'm stress buying. So that's what that one looks like there. And that is all I got. I'm gonna go make myself some food before I faint. I'm gonna wrap these things that I need to wrap as well. So speak to you later. Hello and welcome back to this vlog. I have just gotten ready for work. Look at the difference between my face and my hand. My hand is pale white. I'm about to go have breakfast. I feel awful today. This dog won't shut up. I am. I am sweating already. It's only 28 today. Yesterday was 39 and tomorrow's gonna be 43. So, so happy about that. But thank God I'm not working tomorrow. I'm working today. So yeah, but I feel disgusting and horrible and awful and my stomach hurts, my back hurts, everything hurts, but power through. I'm talking a little bit quietly because pretty sure my mom and my brother are asleep. I'm gonna go have some breakfast now and then I'm gonna go to work and then I'll probably check in later tonight because I'm going to tan tonight. Yay, finally. I haven't been like properly tan in like two weeks, so I'm so excited. 
see you guys then hello it is friday now as you can tell i did not pick up the camera yesterday when i got home from work oh my god look at that difference yesterday it was completely opposite my face was darker than my hands so at least you can fix this with makeup um but yeah i faked tan last night and now i'm orange um i'm gonna go wash this off very soon i've been delaying it because i put it on quite late last night so i just thought might just let it develop this is what it looks like. I will show you. I am so dark. Yesterday I was so pale, paler than my face is at the moment. Um, and it was scary, but it's going to be 44 degrees today. So I thought I might as well just get it over and done with last night so I can not worry about it today and sweat it all off. So I'm going to go wash this off. I'll quickly show you which one I used. It was the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark. You've probably all seen it, but... I really, really like the way it applies. Um, I'm scared it's going to go streaky. The one that I normally use doesn't go streaky, which is also from Bondi Sands. But, um, so this is the one I used last night, the ultra dark one. And then this is the one that I normally use, which is the foam. Neither of them go streaky, which is good because I was using the Latan ultra dark ones for a while and they were working fine and then all of a sudden every time i would wash it off the same leg in the same spot would go streaky so i don't know what was happening and i tried it like a few times and tried to just maybe think it was me and like me exfoliating it left like finger marks or something but um no the bondo sands one works great i'm hoping this one does as well um but yeah i am going to end the vlog here i just thought i wouldn't end it on an abrupt note and just end it at thursday morning when i didn't actually end up checking back in i thought i'd actually say bye and merry christmas and i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please go check out in stylish beauty blenders i remembered i did a like little thing with them at the start of this vlog please go check it out they are amazing i've been using it ever since oh my god look at that i've been using them ever since i tried it so that was like at the start of the week and now it's Friday and I'm probably going to use it again tomorrow because I'm going out. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.